I mean, you know the things that Hillary said about me. Oh, my God. What did she say? In the run-up to the presidential election, 16, a live national press conference. I was a white supremacist extremist wow. from England. Yeah. And then she said I was funded by the Kremlin. Okay, we've got a bit of a fun one here. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> all, all the questions you don't like are Harry's. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to do a would you rather round. Oh, God. <laughs> Would you rather have one million cash or one million engaged extra followers on social media and why? Oh, one million in cash. Ah. Why? Yeah. Oh, just because, you know, I spent 21 years in the European Parliament. I had four kids. Uh, you know, I came, out of the, I, I came out of 20 years of politics with my savings all gone. Right. All yeah. gone. Yeah. They're literally all gone. Yeah. People think, oh, you must have made a fortune. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yeah. So I'd probably take the cash. Yeah. Okay. Great. I'm honest. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Uh, would you rather listen to Jordan Peterson or Andrew Tate, and why? I, I think Jordan Peterson, because I think he's a lot more rounded. I think Andrew Tate is a fascinating figure. I think he, speaking to men who, because of the woke agenda, are told they can't be male mm. in any way at all was an important thing but I feel some of his comments were pretty horrible. Mm. Jordan has a much more coherent intellectualism to what he does, and you know, we said earlier that the Ten Commandments were important rules for life. Well, actually, his 12 rules for life are pretty good rules, mm. and I rather agree with them. Mm. Okay. Would you rather marry Greta Thunberg or Hillary Clinton? And oh! <laughs> Sorry. No, I'd go gay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I don't know whether that's really the answer either. Um, oh gosh, I, I, I just, I can't even imagine. Um, I, I really can't even imagine. What, I mean, you know the things that Hillary said about me. Oh my God, yeah. On live, national, uh, live. What national did she say? Press conference. In the run up to the presidential election, 16, a live national press conference. I was a white supremacist extremist wow. from England. Yeah. And then she said I was funded by, funded by the Kremlin. Right. Funded by the Kremlin. So I couldn't possibly marry Hillary. Um, Gressa, oh, she's too young. I couldn't marry someone that I, I couldn't marry someone that age. Mm. Could I marry somebody who had, you know, hard, greeny views? Yeah, mm. possibly. Mm. They would first couple of weeks be right. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather interview Andrew Jones or David Icke, and why? I, I think probably Icke in a way. Um, just because he, because the stuff he did before now was really interesting. Mm. You know, he's a good goalkeeper yeah. at Leicester City, um, and he had. You know, we discussed the BBC earlier. He had quite a, I mean, quite an important position at the BBC. Mm. So I suspect Ike. Um, I'd like to try and I'd love to get to the bottom of how some of these ideas came into being. Um, you know, the lizards and all that. Mm. I mean, like, very interesting. Mm. But he has a following. Mm. He does have a following. And some of the things he says, of course. Some of the things he says, I think, oh, well, that's interesting. And then he says stuff, I think, no, 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 I can't live with it. But anyway, I mean, you know, in terms of a life journey, how do you go from being a trusted face by millions on the BBC to be, to, to be considered to be one of the most eccentric people in the country? And yet, you know, he can fill the Brixton arena. Mm. Hey, quick, before you go, if you want to watch the full, raw, uncut version of this episode in detail, no holds barred, you can watch it here. But before you go, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on.